Getting a sommelier understand is really easy because we're trying to make your experience great. So the more information you can give us before or during the dining experience, the easier it is for us to do our job and the easier it is to get us on your side. Easily, obviously, price is something that helps us eliminate a lot of options off of a wine list. And the other is, how much are you going to be drinking? Are you, are you looking for a glass of wine, a half bottle, a bottle, or multiple uh, selections? Because if you're going to have one bottle of red wine that's got to get us through salads, pastas, mains, etc., that's a much trickier question than or a half bottle of white, a full bottle of red. And we know what we're doing right from there. And then the last is, what kind of drinker are you? Are you adventurous? Do you like to keep it to classics? Do you want to experiment with the newest, coolest thing? Or do you like to keep it tried and true? Either just admit defeat at fr up front and say, I don't know anything. I just want to make sure that we're having a great time. And then it becomes a three-person conversation. And I see it happen more and more. There's this casualness about, hey, I don't know a lot about wine. And what, what do you want to do? Let's make this about us rather than about me showing off. But if you insist on showing off, which I don't recommend um, because it's thinly veiled, that you try not to use buzzwords or jargon that you don't really know what they mean. You're not going to out-jargon the sommelier. Do include your guests. There's nothing worse to guests being around a person who's dominating the sommelier's time and not including the rest of the table. It makes you kind of look like a bore. Do express any sort of idiosyncrasies. For example, red wine that's a little bit older, I like to finish my glass of red before someone tops it up. And I'm really explicit and say, listen, I'm gonna finish my glass before I get a top up. I just like that better. Or I like my white wine really cold. Or actually, I like my white wine not so cold. Be explicit, give direction, be cool about it, be nice, smile. Do say thank you. Thank you goes a long way. The don't on wine corkage is something that is a little bit difficult to navigate. There is a protocol and you, I think people bring in wine and that's cool. Don't presume anything. Give a call and say, hey, is there a corkage policy? Oh yes, it's $35. Can I bring as many bottles as I want? No, actually we have a limit of two per table. Great. I would say one of the things that drive me crazy is unrealistic expectation of, I want to drink what is a thousand dollar wine experience for 20 bucks. So if you say, I love to drink Chateau Petrus and I want to drink a Merlot just like that, you're being a jackass. Don't do that.